guys, Game of Thrones, episode 6, season 8, uh, season finale, series finale, and I don't really have anything too interesting to add because it was bad. We all kind of knew it was going to be bad. It was boring. I think that's what shocked me the most was how anticlimactic it was. I guess I was hoping that it would you know, it, it's already bad, just go crazier, just really jump the shark, go go balls to the wall. And it didn't, it was pretty dull. It was a lot of people looking sad and walking around and making really bad speeches. I don't know, I kind of don't have much to say. I got a lot of my anger out through the rant of my last Game of Thrones video like I, I was genuinely angry and I got out a lot of my feelings and it was very cathartic for me <laughs> and right now I feel at peace I guess with the fact that Game of Thrones is a bad show is a show I once loved and it has fallen and it is now something I just don't really want to see or talk about for a really long time <laughs> um it sucks it sucks we could have had something great. I don't hate any of these um, plot or character beats in and of itself if it was told properly and it wasn't. And that's George R. R. Martin's fault for not coming out with the books. That's Dean Deef's fault for not taking up HBO and producing the 10 episodes that they were offered. Um, for not taking the time to tell the story properly. For not leaving if they were so emotionally uninvested in the show for not getting new blood, new writers to kind of like revamp and re rejuvenate the, the writing room or the writing process. I kept looking at my phone and looking at the time as the episode was going and just thinking like, oh God, when will it end? Like how much longer do I have to keep watching this? Because I was bored and I was just unhappy. <laughs> John killing Danny was hilarious and Drogon <laughs> picking up Danny's body <laughs> and just flying away was um you know that was that was kind of fun that was that was pretty campy and stupid that brought me a little bit of joy as well as him going ham at the iron throne like the iron throne was the one that killed his mom like <laughs> Okay, Drogon, you big dumb lizard. The Iron Throne didn't kill your mom. I know some people are gonna be like, oh, it's the, the symbolism. The dragon understood what really corrupted Danny, what really ended up killing Danny. It's like, no, he doesn't know that. The writers are just trying so hard to come up with something visually clever. I thought everything that happened with this new council where Tyrion even though he was a prisoner basically convinced everybody to vote Bran, Bran the Broken in which I thought was hilariously cringe. I thought the entire thing was cringe. I thought every attempt at humor fell flat and was pretty terrible. I thought it was ridiculous that they voted in a Stark and then Winterfell was able to basically succeed from the kingdom and have their own independent kingdom. Like, okay, that in a million years would happen. And I didn't understand why no one else also was like, yeah, actually I wanna be independent too. Like, why wouldn't you? The precedent has already been set. Why do you wanna, why do you wanna stay under this? You already know it's like a disaster almost all the time. And then that small council meeting with Tyrion moving chairs around. Like, oh, thank God I get to watch this. Braun being on the small council, so cringe. And then, again, the attempt at humor was just horrible. Like, talking about brothels and whorehouses, it's like, King's Landing is decimated. You have lost the largest population in Westeros. Uh, it just felt tactless to me. I felt like there wasn't any real gravity behind what happened there. I mean, on top of that, you just fought this like giant army of the dead like a month prior. I don't know, it just didn't feel like any of the weight of what did happen in this season actually stuck. As for like the Stark kids, I don't understand why Jon took the black or why he agreed to that or what that does or what that means 
or what I was watching because he didn't take the black. He just went past the wall with the wildlings going back home even though their entire goal throughout the series was to come south of the wall towards like warmer, more fertile land. But at least he pet Ghost, which is like, yay, he did what any basic human being would do when encountering a beloved pet. Like, oh, they did the bare minimum. Oh, thank God. Sansa being queen, I like that. I like Sansa. She's been the least affected by this really terrible season. So I'm, I'm happy that she became queen of the North. I suspected something like that would happen and I'm glad that it did. Arya becoming a pirate, like, okay. You didn't know what to do with her. That's fine. Even though Arya a few episodes ago had this whole spiel about family and sticking to family. Yeah, she doesn't want to be a lady, but it did feel like her entire journey besides wanting to commit acts of violent revenge also wanted to be reunited with her family and go back to Winterfell. And she has that opportunity now and it's like she just wants to ditch. I'm not entirely sure what a satisfying ending looks like for Arya. That didn't quite feel right to me. It's not necessarily the worst thing either, but I also just did not feel invested anymore. Oh, something hilarious that happened with Arya though was when she like randomly showed up next to John and looked at Danny and was like, I know a killer when I see one. It's like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. She just burned down an entire like city. That's like Hitler invading Poland and being like, oh, I know a dictator when I see one. Yeah, do you have eyes? Bran makes that super snide, horrible comment towards Tyrion who gave such a lousy speech. I think Peter Dinklage knew that the season, this episode, his scenes were bad because I didn't think he did a good job. There was something about the cadence of the vo his voice and the way he was delivering his lines that felt phony. And I know he's not a bad actor, so I think he was just phoning it in. I think he knew that this season kind of blue and he was tired and he just like haphazardly said his lines um but yeah after his speech and he, you know he he was all like Bran do you accept this responsibility like to be king blah 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 and Bran was like why do you think I came down here okay so you can see the future did you know Danny was going to decimate King's Landing and like genocide everybody there did you know that if you did why did you allow that to happen that's horror I, I don't know that like didn't sit well with me either and made me really dislike Bran and I already dislike Bran or what they've done to Bran I loved Bran as a character and then these last few seasons he's just been the absolute absolute worst he did nothing when the night king came he's been a nothing nobody weirdo robot we didn't even get to see him like travel to the past they did that a little bit last season at least where we got to see him actually like kind of go back in time and like see things almost affect things and i thought that would come into use this final season and it doesn't. You never see Arya like wear a face again. She never uses that power. The faceless men don't come after her even though she ditched them um, and ran away. I thought that was going to be something that gets looped back in. It's not. I'm just unhappy <laughs> with this show. Do I think it's worth watching at this point? Just don't waste your time. If you were, I'm not even sure if lucky is the right word, but if you got to watch and experience the show before this final season dropped, then, you know, that was your window of opportunity to watch it. But now that we know that this last season is bad and is so bad, just there's no point. You're just going to be sad and disappointed. You're just going to be angry and frustrated. You're just going to wish you didn't spend so much time on this series, even though it starts out so good and it starts out with such a high. I don't think it's worth it. Now, is the book series worth reading? Depends if George R. R. Martin finishes the books. If he comes out with Winds of Winter before his calendar year is done, then I feel like there's a good chance he'll actually finish the final one. But if that doesn't happen, then I would just say move on. All of us 
collectively to move on. <laughs> um, I hear a lot of people saying how they're gonna like cancel their HBO subscription. Good. I actually have a Game of Thrones shirt and I haven't worn it for any of these videos because I was planning to wear it for the series finale because I just I didn't expect this season to go the way that it did. I just like don't really feel like where I don't really want that shirt anymore. I got my mom the Fire and Blood book um, for Mother's Day a few years back. The book's still cool, but I just don't plan on buying any more merchandise. I don't really want to support like these people involved with this series anymore. It just doesn't feel worth it. If you had a better reaction to it than I do, then like bless your heart. You have that, keep that, treasure that. If you still love the show, that's great. Um, but if you are just as disappointed as I am, then I'm sorry. We have each other. You're not alone if you're just heartbroken and sad and feel robbed of a lot of time. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and listening. Leave your comments down below. I love talking to you guys. I reply to pretty much everybody. I will see you guys next time. Bye. And here's a little bit of my own dire wolf. Say hi, handsome. Hi, handsome.